Oh, we got someone landed already. Okay. <clears throat> Let us confirm if we're all good to go. Anybody there? Says we're live. Let some people file in. Does hi fi mean again? Oh, oh, Stephen Prosser first at the front of the line like every week. Well, except for this Hackadem. Oh, Hackademicus, he's been showing up the past couple ways. Past oh, we got the regulars here Uvo or Uvilo, depending on if it's Spanish or like Portuguese. Uh, I know one of them you say the L, the other one you don't. <clears throat> But yeah, hi, Hackademicus. What's up? Hello, everybody. Just getting this all ready to go before we have more than three people here. Joshua, hello, hello. How's it all going? We are live. Okay. Okay. And I think we are good to go. Yep, looks live. Okay, you guys can all hear me. There's no weird humming or anything this time. This one sounds like it's pretty good. Oh, Courtney Bowman. Hello. And oh, who's this? Quadr Z. Now, a lot of these people that join every week, I kind of personally know because I do this every week. But um, if you guys have already been commenting on all our stuff and following our channel, that is very much appreciated there's a lot of people here there's a lot of moving parts that makes the channel what it is and uh gets everything going so it is very much appreciated that you all are here regardless of if you just join in on these lives where is my so i got everything ready here so what do we got daryl 4d hey what's up and melvin clark says hello he says what's up as well it is so dry here in japan right now we got wade russell all good all right well hello everybody why are you all here we're here to see something that you guys downvoted not downvoted but other things got voted um over overvoted got like outpaced by this is the high sense hi-fi touch i really love this thing oh and my mom is here too just in the house just cuz nice this thing is really cool. What Hisense is, if you guys are just joining us and you don't know Hisense, Hisense is an international company like Panasonic and Sharp, uh, to a lesser extent like Samsung, LG, that kind of thing. They make appliances as well as consumer electronics. And very recently, in their time of doing business, very recently, since 2019 year end, they started making e-paper screens, e-ink screen devices. Oh, we got Dan Turley. Hey, first time here. Sounds good. Awesome. Perfect, Dan. Hello. Uh, Hisense, uh, they make dishwashers, uh, refrigerators, all that kind of stuff. They also make some music players and, you know, DVD players and stuff. So they've trickled down into e-paper products. So they have the Hisense A5, the A5 Pro, the A7, A7CC. These are all e-paper screened phones. Now this thing, to be completely fair, does look like a phone. Looks exactly like a smartphone. It isn't though. This one is made from the ground up. It's not using any of the other shells that they've used that they've actually used for other things. So for example, the A7 phone is going to use the same shell as the A7CC, which is color. They simply just put a color screen on the CC. Stands for color. Why there's two Cs? I have no idea. This is the Hisense Hi-Fi music player. I It's been so long since I did the review that I forgot what Hi-Fi meant, so I looked it up <laughs> right in front of me. It is important to audiophiles and home audio enthusiasts. Ideally, high-fidelity equipment has inaudible noise and distortion and a flat frequency response with the human hearing range. Yeah, I honestly don't know what... 40% of what that means. No, I do, but yes. For, for In layman's terms, it's very high quality, and more importantly, it's got 1216 speakers on each side. What does that mean? 1216 is actually the millimeter size of each of the speaker packs themselves. So if you have 
the same speaker here as you do here, it's going to be very even sound. And they do have opposing stereo speakers. For example, my A Asus Zenfone 5Z, that's what it's called, has a very large speaker here, 18 by whatever millimeters. So 18 by, you know, you know, 10 or whatever. But it doesn't have another stereo speaker. It uses the earpiece, which is a really, really small speaker. Most consumer electronics don't match the sizes of both sides. iPhones don't do it. Samsungs don't do it. They don't do that. Hisense does. So it's important to them. And it was important to make this phone specifically for audio so that they had even uh, speakers on both sides. So that's kind of the little history of what this thing is. And because it's running Android and because it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and... Um, uh, speakers on it and an earpiece and a camera you could essentially use it as your regular phone it's just it doesn't have data so what that means is that you will have to tether tether this to something it doesn't have cellular data oh, I'm gonna move this bolt for my uh, this is for my car I was fixing I didn't want to lose it so I put it there it doesn't have cellular data so in order to use it out and about you'll have to use Wi-Fi and you have to tether it to your phone or something I'm gonna turn the glow light off because I think it's messing with the white balance yeah, there you go. So, what are your questions? I'm just going to wait here. No, I won't wait here. But I'll just show you a little bit about it till you guys ask some questions. So, oh, we have some V lowercase m dot red. Uh, nope, I don't know what that means. What does that mean, Voshe? Or Vosh? Please help us. I don't know what that means. So, let's look at this for a little bit. This is the device itself. It is a very standard Android experience. There's nothing particularly like groundbreaking here. It is just going to be a uh, kind of standard experience. So what I mean by that is you scroll the top down, you get a lot of your menu choices. You can go to apps and this shows all of your apps that you have installed, whether something is side loaded like Amazon Music, what I put on there. And I, I, I genuinely do use this. This one is fairly scratched because I genuinely use this. When I'm fixing my car or something, when uh, we're just sitting around the office with people and we're not in a place that we have audio. I, I actually use this phone and I say actually not that it's bad, but I mean, it's just a good secondary device because the speakers are so loud and crisp and clear. You don't need to tether this to any Bluetooth speakers. You can, of course it has Bluetooth, but you don't have to. So I got a bunch of stuff on here. I tested things out during the review. Uh, WeChat, Baidu, you can uninstall this stuff too. So if you don't want something, for example, Baidu, you just click on it and uninstall it. It, it. So you can make this what you want. And a lot of you guys might be saying, oh, it's one of those things that's locked into Baidu and, and WeChat. It isn't. You can use anything on here. Facebook, you can use WhatsApp. You can use anything on here. And it's all in English. It's in any language you want it to be. You can go to all settings and it's all what you've seen before. This is an Android phone. So you have your Wi-Fi, you have your Bluetooth. You can scroll down. You even have the e-ink button, which is a specific button they have just for e-ink devices, which is kind of nice. You can push that and it does different things. Single touch does screen refresh, double click does turn off and on the backlight, etc. And you can key map it. If I want my single tap to do any of these things, play and pause my music, I simply just set it to that. There's so many things you can map it to. There's tons of different things. So if, I, if I'm using this phone regularly and I want to put this to refresh, so I'm using it, right? I'm like this and I'm like, boom. I can refresh at any time. Boom. I can double tap it and it turns the glow light on. See that? Double tap it again. Glow lights off. Tap it again. Refresh. So that ink button is very useful because you can map it for short press, long press, or double tap. And you can do different things. That's really cool. Another thing about this, you guys might be asking, well, it's not a phone. What is it? Well, it's a music player. That's what it is. This is a music player like the equivalent of an iPod touch with an e-ink screen. And this is very good for longevity. So this will last a very long time. It says two days and 23 hours, and that's pretty good seeing that we have uh, Wi-Fi on, we have occasionally had the backlight on, and that's on at full power level. We haven't done super power saving mode or power saving mode. Stephen Prosser asks, what kind of app stores are on this? I uh, actually can't remember, let's see, go to apps. Mm -hmm. Ink browser app store. Well, there's your answer. Some Chinese ones. 
Oh, but look at that. It's got some apps on it. I actually didn't know that because I sideloaded everything in. Because, Stephen, if you want to utilize the App Store, yes, you can use Spotify. Anything that is Android, oh, I'm going to have to check 8.1 or 9. One of those two. Let's check. Let's check together. Let's, let's explore this about Reader. Android 11? Are you kidding me? Oh, when did it update? Okay, well, there you go. Android 11. Okay, this, <laughs> anything with Android 11 will work on this. Yes, you can use Spotify. Yes, you can use Amazon Music. I, I frequently use this with Amazon Music. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to play anything, though, because it'll, it'll demonetize after we do the VOD. Yeah, can't show you. I mean, I can show you. I'm just not going to play anything. It plays. It works just fine. Go through whatever you want. Uh, you can use Kindle on this. Yes, of course. You can use Facebook Messenger. You can use Line. You can, you can use anything. You can use very much anything. You don't have to be afraid that you say, oh, no, WeChat. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I can uninstall it. And then you see Baidu and you're like, oh, what's that? This is so scary to me. And you just uninstall it. Literally, you can craft this to be your own experience. They don't lock you in like a like an iFly tech. And if you don't know what I mean by that, an iFly tech is a Chinese only brand that is very big and influential in the e-reader world. But you can't even start an iFly tech device without a mainland Chinese phone number. This is not the case. This is very much an international unit. And it's very nice how they built this from the ground up. It, it honestly is. This was tooled from the very get-go. And what I mean by that is everything is decided where it's going to go. So they cut out the USB port. They cut out where the speakers are going to be. This cool little copper ring O that they put on the back for touch doesn't do anything i thought it was a button and i thought when it wasn't a button i thought wow that would have been cool if it was a button and then they put their little orange line here which carries around to the top which carries around to the bottom so it's really kind of pieced together very well and it does have an antenna here as well so it's got the wi-fi antenna uh, Stephen Prosser, oh, Snap's got a hundred times better. Didn't realize you can get music apps. Yes, absolutely. And most importantly, you can get music apps because really all you're doing on this is music. And I just realized, gosh, well, I can't show you music. I can, I can, um, what do you call, uh, let you hear music. So let's go over to YouTube and find something that isn't, uh, you know, oh yeah, I know what we'll do. There's a site, um, not Audio Jungle. That's the one that like... When you have a song and they're like, Audio Jungle, halfway through the song. Or actually, a lot through the song. Let's go to, um, oh, I think I didn't sign into Wi-Fi on this. Okay, we're going to switch over so I can sign into Wi-Fi on this. Well, this is what it looks like someone using this device. That's how big it is against your face. About that big. You can use it as a phone. It has a, uh, it acts as an earpiece at the top. Or you can just put it on speaker and be like, hey, I'm on WhatsApp. But it's tethered to my phone because, well, you have to because it doesn't... Unless you're at your house because then it's got Wi-Fi. But there's no 3G and there's no uh, SIM card slot. So you can't, you can't put that in. Uh, yes. So... Oh, did I do that right? I always forget the password. There it is. It's up here. Don't look. Tom Doe and Alibaba. Uh, you mean... Was there Alibaba on here? Oh, Alipay. Yeah, yeah you, can un you can uninstall everything. You can uninstall everything. Can you uninstall the App Store? Let's see. You can't. Okay, you can't uninstall the App Store, but you can uninstall basically anything else. Can you uninstall the clock? That's pretty necessary to its function. Um, E-Ink Browser, you might be able to. No, you can't. Okay, yeah. You can uninstall most of the bloated stuff. I don't even know what that is. It says something like video spring something. I, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I can't. I, I could uninstall that if I wanted to. Absolutely no problem. Alipay, yeah. You press and hold that. Boom. Uninstall. Away it goes. It's got reading apps on here too by default. Migu Reader. Migu is a um, a very popular Chinese brand that they actually collaborated with um, Kindle. They made their own Kindle. It was the Kindle X Migu and it was very interesting actually. Uh, I always get confused about this guy because that's the mark for JD, which is the marketplace. But iReader uses that mark a lot. So, but it's not an iReader mark. It's probably a collaborative thing. So, like when you have a certain oops, bookstore ecosystem on your device. Anyways, so I'm going to show you. We're gonna go over to browser. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's over here. And we'll go to YouTube.
There we go. So we're going to go uh, royalty free. Well, oh, background music. There we go. Here we go. Royalty free. Oh, there's no copyright music from SoundCloud, too. Let's just go this one. Let you guys hear it. Again, the the setup they did to make this amazing versus it going through the microphone here is not going to do it justice, but it's a music player. We have to show it. Or we have to exhibit it. It's really loud, too. It is seriously, it fills the room with sound. And that is, <laughs> you can't say that a lot about a lot of devices that are running e-paper, e-ink. And you can't say that in general, that a device that's built in, a sound that's built in, it doesn't require a Bluetooth speaker. Although, again, you could put a Bluetooth speaker on it. But that in and of itself is quite amazing because it seriously is fairly loud. And I love it. What's the default browser, says Tom Doe. The default browser is e-ink browser. It's just a proprietary e-ink browser. Um, so that's what it's going to be like that, unfortunately. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, you can download anything you want. You can download Chrome if you want. Um, do you have a... What does he say here? Um, Hackademicus says, has face camera to unlock the device? Question mark. It does have a camera. But out of the box, the camera is not for face unlock. So let's take a picture. So there's me this way. The camera is quite nice and it's pretty quick. And we're on full speed mode. A uh, mediocre speaker. No, Chris, it's quite nice. It's very, very nice. It's not mediocre. It's very loud. It's crisp very clean doesn't peak at full blast and uh unfortunately that's not going to come through in this showcase because well it's, all you're doing is looking through webcams and a microphone so i understand it's hard but no it is not a mediocre speaker this is quite nice we're not endorsed by them we're not paid to say that it's a very good flat supercomputer piece of technology that has some really nice speakers built in they're better than most phone speakers um, so the camera, I assume if you download an app that will allow for you to use a camera as a face unlock, cause you don't have to use the ones that the developer has made for you. So like iPhones, for example, you know, you put it up your face and it unlocks, but if you download a specific app, I'm almost guaranteed, I'm going to be sure that they have something like that. It'll be face unlock app and it'll be third party and someone will just program it so that your unlock doesn't you know require your finger or doesn't require your thumbprint or your code and it will do it via the camera because they'll bypass the um permissions of being able to use a camera before you're unlocked etc so i'm almost certain you can you could but i don't know how well it would do because it's kind of shaky and e-ink's not that fast but we are going to get into the speed modes because it does have speed modes what security features does it have what security features does it have some good questions and that's why we're here actually don't have a security oh they do have a security security features you got pay guard oh everyone needs pay guard steven steven pros let me tell everybody what pay guard is I'll, I'll wait educate these fools what pay guard is i'm just kidding i have no idea what pay guard is okay oh so it's some sort of guard for your payment options in most of the world now at least in canada and japan and china of course uh, alipay has been very prominent so I believe this pay guard is in check. Uh, I've just read check. Uh, in place to check certain apps. So I bet if you had, you know, mobile pay, uh, pay, pay, PayPal here installed, it would show up and probably give you a second level 
security sensitive permission reminder after opening when the application uses sensitive permissions aka recording camera location the status bar will display a reminder notification icon oh there you go so anything that requires these would have there so you guys can just you know during the vod pause the video oh no you can pause live yeah you can pause the video at any time if you want to see those anything regarding like recording camera permissions that'll pop up you can set password of course you have password and other security is device admin apps oh you can select certain apps to be admin it's kind of cool let's go back storage type hardware backed oh it doesn't give me an option okay and yeah steven i was just goofing man i don't know i do that a lot like if i don't know what something is i just you know feign uh, i just tell someone else to explain for me and then i'll be like see i told you no i'm just kidding trusted credentials we have some trusted credential stuff here looks like a lot of authorization things that are already allowed it's some technical stuff but i don't even know what that is i understand what each individual thing is i don't know what ramifications would come my way if i toggle those off and on i can clear my credentials i can install a certificate from storage wow this is a little bit deeper than even what we're used to you got trust agents oh i don't trust anybody look there's no one on there and you have apps with usage access i imagine there's a lot Oh, there's only a couple. So you can set your browser to allow certain things, you know, like your calendar, language settings, basically sharing all your information. So those are the security features on here. And if you're wondering about all the modes, I believe you swipe from the bottom up or is it top down? There it is. So you do have four modes on this. You got clear, balanced, smooth, and speed. Each mode will be faster and more ugly than the predecessor so clear is going to be the slowest but the nicest looking balanced is going to be well a little bit less nice looking but it'll be quicker smooth is going to start to speed up everything's very snappy now you see uh here let's do some speedy stuff so there's the staining see that and that's why you have your e ink button whoops that's why you have your e ink button set to refresh so you can clear that when you're on these faster modes but it is very nice and then speed mode is going to be your quickest this is going to be very fast this is going to most closely simulate a lcd led experience will it be exact no it won't be because it can't be it it's it's e-ink and it'll never be as fast as an lcd led that's just the reality of it got to get over that that's the way it is phone check app will tell you how many sensors are available there you go. Yeah. So get yourself a phone check app and it'll tell you how many sensors. So boom, there we go. Uh, I'm going to show some, I guess, goody reader stuff. Cause that's the only stuff I can really show that doesn't have any, uh, uh, ramifications for using it. It's the second time I said ramifications. I think it is. Let's look at the scog in here and we'll go full screen. Okay, we're sponsored by that now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I didn't expect that to show up. So here's speed mode. I think we're at speed mode. Yeah, we are. E -ink smart watches I'm just going to turn that down. Yeah, we just did a Scoggin watch. Just came in. It's pretty nice, actually. This is the Fossil. And Fossil's own... Oh, I can switch cameras by pressing up and down? I didn't know that. I always use my mouse. Yeah, so these guys are a subsidiary of Fossil, uh, Skagen. The watch itself is very nice. It's right here on my desk. Pretty nice watch. Uh, it's it's just going to be the Fossil. So if you're coming here from the Fossil, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, it's just the Fossil. But in and of itself, it's really nice. I love this chainmail band, too. But yeah, one thing at a time. I'm trying to learn the unit so we can have a table discussion with everybody. And uh, we can say, you know... What do we need to know about it? We get some scripting put together and then I can start talking over the video. And then everyone who actually does all the work that matters will, uh, the people that really put the video together and make it what it is, uh, will put it up and we'll have a great uh, product, hopefully. So we are half an hour away from the end and we don't have a lot of people asking questions so that is totally fine as per usual you guys can just you know watch this at your leisure and we'll just kind of keep surrounding ourselves with what this has to offer so here's the app store 
So is this camera possible video call or even Zoom? Yes, the camera, even though, wait, where is it? It's in tools. There it is. So even though this camera is um, e-ink, it, it's doing color right now. You don't notice it, but this is in color. And when it's, you see it's moving and it's kind of choppy. However, it will show up in color when you export it. So yes, you could use that for video calling. It's totally fine because can you install WhatsApp? Yes. Do you have a camera? Yes. Is it Android 11? Yes. So all WhatsApp is going to do is say, do you have a camera? It's going to be like, yep. And it turns the camera on. Can you switch it to the back camera? No, because it doesn't have one, but it'll use that. And you can do a video call. Of course, no problem. Academicus, can you, oh, you just asked that. Uh, Dan Turley, any word from Google Play support? All right, now this is something I think that Hacadem Hacademicus asked at the very beginning. You can put Google Play on here, but you guys have to do it. It's, Hisense won't do it. They're not certified, and they don't have anything in place where you can go on a Hisense product and download it. In order to put the Google Framework on here, you guys have to do it yourself. You have to root it. You have to install Google Framework and make sure it's installed properly and that it's stable so that when you put things that require Google services, maps, etc., it's going to work properly. But there is no Google out of the box on this. Can you go online and download whatever.apk and sideload it on here? Yes, absolutely. Can you find stuff on this very robust Chinese marketplace? Sure. I mean... Go for it. There's some stuff on here. There's a racing game. Let, 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 let's let's look at this. <laughs> what what racing game is this? Do they drive through the streets of Shenzhen? I mean, maybe, right? I mean, we don't know. Oh, yeah, we got that Pokemon Dungeon game or whatever. There you go. Yeah, so they got... A lot of stuff, albeit it's all written in Chinese, but I mean, yeah, you can just sideload in your apps. That's what we did. We just, even though actually when I, when we turned this on earlier, Amazon Music was on here. So we haven't done enough digging on the app store to see what's exactly on there. But you do have the ability to sideload in anything. You just sideload it. You go to your file manager, which is just your root storage. You click on something, anything, docs. I think we got PDF on here. Yeah, we got our manga here that we always use. Tons of things to open with. It's a very, very uh, craft your own experience device. It really is. You don't have to worry about it. You're not going to be locked in to anything that's going to prevent you from using it. I keep clicking the wrong thing because I can, I can't, I, I can read Japanese. I can't read Chinese, and sometimes they don't overlap. Can I use this random PDF? Is it going to ask me? See, it asks me permissions. That says down or like uh prohibition so it probably means no sure i'll just allow everything for now you're gonna steal my data i don't have okay see that's why you download things you can read because i can't read any of these that one i think says yes no 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 the other one says yes because that's part of um uh, what do you call um oh my god okay yeah don't let this sour your experience but get rid of for me i should have if i was using this on a daily basis for anything except music i would get rid of all this in fact i don't mind getting rid of all this i can just uninstall that i don't know what that is i can uninstall that i don't know what that is and then i can put things i want on here i don't need baidu i don't need a baidu ecosystem because i don't have any logins with baidu i don't know what it is uh toyu tao I don't need that. You know what I mean? You can just get rid of all this stuff. This looks like some sort of karaoke jukebox. And I don't know what it is. Allow it to make phone calls on my behalf. Sure. Let's do all that. Yeah, so this is a very nice unit because you can just download whatever you want. And it's very nice. Uh, Hackademicus, how about the ebook experience? How about it? Let's go to File Manager. And I think we have an ebook here somewhere. Docs? Nope. Uh, where'd I put it? Oh yeah, look at that too. You get 98. Actually, it was probably over 100 before we had preloaded stuff, uh, before we had our side loaded stuff on here. You have a lot of space on here too. Lots of space. 
Uh, I thought I had a book on here. I can just go to mm, where uh, reading. Yeah, that's right. And sure. I think it'll find my books. One of these will. I don't know what that is. Being the e ink experience is nice. I'm not giving up. I'm just gonna say that while I look for stuff. Okay, I know that one is yes now because it means um, like to make an appointment. That's what that character means. So like, I assume that means let's go ahead with it. Okay, mail. Here, let's get this random Chinese book. Can I download a sample? <laughs> I guess I can't. <laughs> All right, let's look for. I thought I had a book on here. I almost swear, documents. Oh, wow, look, some random file. Well, this will give you a good idea of what it looks like to navigate through this thing. Ah, there it is. I put it on root. I think you do text. Yeah, and that'll take me to reader. Oh, that looks like a fail. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to put something normal like moon plus reader or something like that. You don't want all these. Oh, there we go. Here's a Chinese book. Wow, that is not just Chinese. They have Korean characters right there. They got wingdings. They got like Roman characters and Japanese characters. I don't know what happened there. But look, you get a little page turn. Yes, you can put Amazon on here. Maybe they even have it on their site here, on their app store. Amazon. They don't. Wow. Yeah, you can sideload it in here. And you can use it to your heart's content. It is totally usable on here. Except I am having a trouble. Uh, can we open it with this JD reader thing? There we go. All right. We're rocking and rolling. You can. I'm just going to answer that right now, Hackademicus. And I know you can use the power, the volume buttons for page turn because if you download the Amazon app and go to settings, you have a toggle that will allow you to use the volume buttons for page turns. Doesn't work on, oh, it does work on here by default. Look at that. I'm surprising myself. Chris W, love the form factor. Wish more ebook manufacturers make small e-readers. Oh, Chris, guess what just came in today to the office? Not joking. Guess what just came in? Something in your sentence Something in your sentence is what came in today in the office. Courtney Bowman thought Amazon pulled out of the Chinese market. You are correct. That's probably why I can't find the app because <laughs> this is updated and it's Android 11 and it and uh, we did an update before this video. You are correct, Courtney, because, um, yeah, they pulled out, I think, very recently. It had to have been this month or last month. They announced, like, yeah, we're done. Uh, they dropped all the actual Kindles. And um, that's actually why our... Um, I hear chatter around the water cooler, as we uh, say it. Um, I, I heard some people in our office here, it was like, um, our orders have increased for Amazon devices. And I, you know, I was just peeking in on what they were talking about. No, I was just joking. I, I went over to them and I was like, hey, what's going on? They're like, oh yeah, you know, orders have uh, picked up for Amazon. I was like, oh yeah, you know, it's because you know, Amazon pulled out of China and now they can't buy it anywhere. So they buy from places that do have it. So... If you're in an area where they do have Amazon, don't buy from us because we mark our stuff up. That's how we make money on the Amazon products. And I know that it's because that's what we do because Amazon won't do dealer pricing unless you buy like 3,000 units. But if you're in a place where they don't have it, like Iceland or Singapore or something, yeah, hit us up. We can most definitely assist you. Kevin Bossy's here. The smartest man in e-readers has just graced us with his presence. And now I'm reminded of the Kobo Mini. Yeah, this is really nice. What are we sitting at for... Um official screen size on this i think it was 4.54 they were saying oh no way bigger 5.4 no 5.7 oh okay nice yeah way bigger uh courtney bowman again i have a small e-reader and wish it was newer read the article a few weeks ago about amazon yeah you're right chris w it is almost impossible to find an e-reader that is phone sized here in canada oh chris w again you don't know how how accurate your words are. All I'll say, because it's not it's not hidden info, <laughs> but all I'll say is that today in the office, no joke, in receiving, we got, is it here? No, it's not my own. Oh, it's in the other, 
It's in the actual... I gotta leave. I won't go. It is a... Yeah, I'm not ruining the surprise. In fact, I'm... I'm, I'm uh, g making the anticipation even better. We received a small e-reader. We did. It's a 2022... 2021 December. Brand new... Small e-reader. Yes. By a company that has made them before, is what we'll say. So that video is coming... Uh, next, next, next. Uh, this morning I came in and why my voice is all hoarse is cause I already did a, um, I did a, uh, I came in and they're like, here's the script. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. So I did a voiceover for a, um, uh, a Japanese product we received and that's really cool. It's running e-ink of course, so all in English. And, um, after this, probably get me a donair or something and then we'll do a, a voiceover of these new things that we got so yeah that's that's coming soon uh kevin bossy hi hello yes if you don't know kevin bossy he's the uh our resident professional of um yeah he's quite knowledgeable and in fact uh yeah we've asked him some questions of stuff before because we just you know we don't know everything we know a lot but we don't know everything does this unit have a g sensor or how to turn the screen uh, oh yeah, I can press down instead of, I don't actually have to, nice. Yes, it does. It has rotate right here, auto rotate. So if I put on auto rotate, it should be, it should be, okay, maybe this app doesn't support it, but I'm sure if I go to a photo, took a photo of me earlier with the camera. So if I go here and go back and choose that photo, I should be able to rotate it. Yeah, so it's got a um, uh, not an accelerometer, a gyroscope. It does have a gyroscope, and I think it does 360. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, weird. It only does 270. It does 90, 180, 270, and then it's like, oh, no, I don't want to do it. Okay. You know what, though? I have found that devices that don't do 360 will do 360 if you use something that forces it to do 360 like google maps for example if you're on google maps and your phone is charging like that and, and you're like oh i need to use my google maps so i like put it in my cup holder or something it, it will actually force it even though other things won't allow you to do that inherently so that was very interesting uh battery size tom doe 3000 milliamp and that's pretty good what's included in the box headphones uh Oh, it's been a long time since we did the unboxing. Uh, you'll have to check out our unboxing. That's why we do the unboxings, people. Sometimes when we do unboxings, people are like, why would you do an unboxing? Why don't you just do the review? And it's like, because you need to know what it looks like when you open it. <laughs> and if we do an unboxing and review all together, things just get lost. We do do unboxing and reviews together when the device is like, oh, the Xiaomi thermometer. Are we going to do a review on a thermometer? No, because it doesn't have or do anything. But when it comes to devices that have a lot to it, yeah, we, we do have both. So, um, yes, please look at our unboxing video because I do not remember. Uh, Courtney Bowman, you're such a tease. Have to research small e-reader. No, I'm not joking. Courtney, the, uh, I, I'm not even, I have no reason to joke. This is what these lives are all about. Complete transparency and you guys ask questions, we answer as best we can. Yes, a, a small e-reader from a major manufacturer, and yes, I'll just say it's less than six inches, has dropped this morning. We're looking at it. We're we're still figuring it out before we even open it because we don't want to open it and say, um, uh, oh, look at that. Like, we want to be informed, you know? So, um, yeah, we're just getting that all ready to go. Giabo Tran. Cool. That's a nice name. I like names. I really like names. Um, yeah. So, uh, actually, my parents were actually going to name me Madison before they landed on Peter. No joke. It's pretty funny. Um, I mean, I don't know if that's funny. It's just, that's the reality of it. Uh, hello, Kiabo. What's going on? Uh, oh, I glanced over a question here. I'm sorry. Quad Deer Z. Can you also turn pages in any reader app when the device is turned off? Do you have to turn the device on? You can turn pages on a reader app when the device is turned off? I'm not sure what you mean by that. You mean like set it as your home screen or your standby screen? I don't think you can do that. Uh, Tom Doe, battery size, 3,000 milliamps. I don't remember about the um, headphones. Maybe. I think there was a little thing of headphones in there. 
Oh, here's a name. Atraves del Rio. Atraves del Rio. It's not just a phone. It's a music player. This isn't a phone at all, surprisingly. This is not a phone. This is in no way a cellular communication, communicative device. There is no data. There is no SIM card slot. There technically isn't even an earpiece. It uses speaker there as an earpiece. It's not a phone. It looks like a phone. The Xiaomi Ink Palm Mini look like a phone, but it's not a phone. This is a music player. It's got a big old headphone jack on the top. See that? Wait. Oh, it doesn't pull focus. Block my face. Whatever. It's got a headphone jack. It's got a 3.5 headphone jack. Uh, Kevin Bossy, the lack of upside down rotation might be limiting on the phone version of Android that isn't present on tablet version, right? Yeah, why would they not do... Mo does my phone do two, uh, 360? I'm going to open something to see if it does. I'm going to open a photo. Here's a photo right here. I have a photo. Sure. These uh, photos of these, these chocolate bars here. I'm going to go to auto rotate on and it'll go there these emails off my face so there's that and will it go oh okay i guess it just doesn't oh am i missing something or does android not do that i swear it did that because my google maps will do it huh okay maybe i'm completely off Kevin would be able to assist. Kevin, on Android devices, are you not able to do 360? Is it only limited to 270? I, I thought that wasn't a thing. Um, ah, I have the same Xiaomi's thermometer. Do you really? That's amazing. Yeah, this thing is awesome. They gave us like a big box of these when they gave us a, um, a review sample. Review sample, it's like seven dollars. Uh, they gave us like 20 of them. We've just been giving them away to people. Someone comes into a meeting at the office, we're just like, Here, here's a free Xiaomi thermometer. They're like, oh, nice, yeah. Atra Ves del Rio, del Rio, a thermometer can save your life, you know. Yeah, you know, um, there's actually those, uh, what do you call it? um, CO2 sensors too. They have like CO2, and it's like if it's too much carbon, it's too is dioxide, it'll uh, beep, 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 and stuff. Uh, yeah, Kevin Bossy. It was new small e-reader. Oh, I've said too much. Ah, uh, here he is. Asris Pant. Hello. Hi. When can we expect the review of the MeBook 78 Pro? I ordered it from AliExpress because I couldn't resist. Asris, I'm not even going to talk to you because you didn't order it from us. I'm just kidding. That's totally cool. Asris, Boyu is going through a little bit of a transition here. Until you guys ask about this phone again, we're just going to do Q&A. Um, Boyu is going through a little bit of a transition. There was a buyout in, in talks. There was an article we did that they told us to take down. It wasn't that it wasn't true. It's just they wanted to get their hands on... Uh, they wanted to, like, you know, uh, finalize the deal and just wait till everything's completely stabilized. And then they'll move forward with allowing us to put another article up. They don't command us or tell us what to do. We can put it up if we want. In fact, I think we did re-put it up later. But um, it's just out of respect, you know, because we've been dealing with Boyu for a long time. Uh, Boyu is still going to be kind of called Boyu because all of their social media and advertising is still Boyu Like Book. So, um, the brand itself is now called Me Book, but like their Facebook page and all their other social media and their PR, the, the way they relate to the public is all still Boyu Like Books. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, yeah, my mom just tested it on her phone too. It doesn't do 360 either. Okay, so I. Okay, hold on. We're going to take a break. No, not really. But I'm going to go to Google Maps right now. And I'm going to twist this. It doesn't. But if I do... But if I do this... Oh, I know. Okay. If I go to driving mode, watch. Watch this. Yeah, boy. Okay. I thought it, I, I was like, okay, I'm not crazy. It does do it on certain apps, but not everything. It will do 360 when you're doing like Google Maps and stuff like that. Okay. Thank gosh. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going insane. Yeah. So um, that's what's going on there. Astros Pant. Uh, oh, you said that. Nacha. What's the file explorer like? Does the full name of the file display? Oh, let's go back to it. Got some questiones. That is Spanish for question. I don't know. So file manager, here we are. Oh, it's me. Okay, we go back and we're going to go to, yeah, just internal storage. So we're going to go down 
that's pretty much the full name. That's, that's, let's see, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 30 characters long for the final name. That's pretty good. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, you know, the three ghosts of the night, whatever the heck. Uh, no, it's probably not going to show the whole thing. If I long press, does it start scrolling? No, but I can go long press, view details, and then it shows me the thing. So around 30 characters is the file explorer there. So I hope that works. Kia Chiaki. Good morning, Peter. I was interested in this because see myself using Hisense A5 Pro CC, but I get distracted a lot. So this is allowed distraction-free reading and music listening. What do you think? It does because you can turn off everything. You can turn off the sound. You can turn off notifications. You can turn off Wi-Fi. You can uninstall everything down to the bare bones, absolutely core mechanics of it. So like, can you uninstall settings? No, but you can uninstall like whatever that is. So just get rid of everything. And you can just use it, you can hold it up to yourself, and you can just be like, oh, I'm reading my really tiny e-reader. Because it could be. You could you could utilize this as an e-reader. It doesn't have to be what they tell you it is. They promote it and advertise it as a hi-fi music player, which it absolutely is. You, you can use it as whatever you want. Use it as a coaster if you want. I mean, you know, to each their own. Uh, Kevin Bossy, I have three of those little thermometers in my flat that I live here. Oh, you guys call them flats in Singapore. Okay. Paired with their hub that would take readings every hour they have a hub okay cool i didn't know that notcha android tablets do 360 phones not so much quadir z how fast is the e-ink screen compared to other companies latest models um it's pretty fast so if we go here to speed mode which we are not on we'll go to speed mode so this is speed mode i'll just do a couple i'm not gonna go crazy but like as fast as you would use it oh i'm gonna go settings let's go bluetooth i don't need bluetooth let's go back here okay i'm gonna go to my file manager Let's see. Scroll, 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 scroll. Did I download anything? I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> good one there. Yeah, so it, it's pretty quick. Like, that's pretty quick. In the world of e-paper, look at that. Doesn't get much quicker than that. Maybe like an Onyx Max Lumi 2 on X mode. <laughs> that, that's that's about as quick as you're going to see it. Or like a Dasung Not Reader. That thing is mental. Very fast. It's a pretty fast experience, honestly. Compared, it, it falls in line with the rest of their units, too. The A5, the A5 uh, Pro, the A7. It's all kind of very the same across their platform. It's quite good. Uh, Nacha, cool, thank you. Tam, CW, hey, Peter, does the unit offer FM radio out of the box? Oh, I believe you still need the headphone because it acts as the antenna. But let me just confirm tool oh no here it is fm radio it's gonna say oh plug the antenna in oh i gotta agree to all these okay that one that one that one that one that looks good agree to all sure make phone calls for me play okay let's play this one Okay, I'm, I'm not convinced that's FM. <laughs> I think... I think... I don't I don't think that's radio because I'm not getting any actual dial. That I just believe that's the name of that particular app. Um, let's go to tools. That didn't seem real. Okay, hold on. Okay, can I add... Like, do you have FM that isn't that one? Um... You know, it's a good point, and I uh, appreciate it, but we'll get back to you on that. I don't know if it has FM out of the box, because this is so weird. This is like an app that's just called FM that doesn't seem to operate on any radio frequency at all. So I'm just going to say that it doesn't have FM out of the box, because nothing preloaded is the FM actual, you know getting the, the, the FM radio waves from the air. In which case, I'm pretty sure you'll need the headphones. It's usually the way it goes. Uh, Nacha, what's the price? Uh, oh, my mom says it does on driving mode too. So yeah, okay, on, on Android phones, it does work on driving mode. Um, I don't remember the price of this offhand. <laughs> Let's go look really quick and I'll be able to tell you. Uh, $329.99 for this unit. Uh, the... Um, so around 300 bucks if you grab it on sale um, for this. And you can utilize our goodie membership. We do that. It's a 10% discount on everything and free shipping. So you can get it down to, yeah, 
literally lower than 300 you could michael with the 279 donation you paid for my mcdonald's coffee and small fries no i'm not gonna have fries there's a potato shortage right now it's big news it really is yeah chia akia chiaki does this have full android my a5 pro cc has to load aurora store to get apps contrary to what the store said from when i bought it um full android like open android where you can do anything and everything no but it does have android to the point where you can sideload in apps like um you know facebook messenger facebook itself instagram snapchat uh amazon music which i have on here this is what i use this phone for oh, i said phone i gotta restart the whole live i said phone it's like a phone you hold it's like a phone okay this device we use for um no can't do anything and everything but you can side load in apps just by connecting it with your usb you literally download apps connect it with usb c drag and drop click and it installs it, it it'll install um have we gotten many parsing errors not really anything we throw at it it's android 11 so we're not like 5.1.1 here this is android 11 that's the latest possible android for most regular devices i mean and that's the highest possible android in the e-reader world right now android 11 there's only onyx xiaomi whatever and um hisense that are using android 11 right now because boyu wasn't or isn't currently uh fujitsu unlock is android 9 dasang not reader is android 9 boyu is 8.1 yeah they're the only guys so um yeah there's the answer uh what we got here kevin i think that radio app is called himalaya fm which is like the chinese equivalent of tune in radio yeah so there you go it, it does look like um that was just called fm yeah like tune in radio doesn't get radio it doesn't get the actual radio waves from your antenna it's just using the internet if you turned your internet off and you took your SIM card out and turned Wi-Fi off and tried to get tune-in radio, you're not going to get it. That's not how it works. Um, yeah, so the, uh, he, Kevin says, the Chinese app you just showed streams over the internet. Yeah. Michael Kozlowski said, you can install third-party app stores like Amazon. You can. You can down, You can install, uh, what's that one? I, have, I haven't done apps in a while. Um, one Mobile. You can down and install those guys. You can install the Goody Reader app store. We got 30,000 plus apps. Um, there you go. And F-Droid, says Kevin. Perfect. Steven Prosser, cool Patreon buttons. Kind of feel like you went off, made a sandwich, pressed pause, came back, and then you saw that part of the video, Steven, because that was like a one-hour delay. We are eight minutes away from the end of today's sesh. Is there anything else you guys would like to ask? Because I have nothing to plug. There's nothing to plug today. <laughs> we don't have anything to say. Except we appreciate all of y'all. We do. All of you, all wonderful ladies and gents. And this Michael Kalawowski guy that keeps donating these very weird amounts of money. But pays for my lunch every day. There's money in the pocket. So that's great. No, we, we're all fair share here. Two seventy nine. We could buy, buy some donuts for everybody here. Guess so. There's a chain in Japan called Mr. Donut, which is a subsidiary of Dunkin' Donuts in the States. A lot of you guys that are uh, American will understand that. So yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is a um, kind of a very divisive, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, how do you say I, uh, Not isolative. I'm forgetting English. Yeah, it's a very uh, polarizing chain. Because some people are like, oh, Dunkin' Donuts is so like, gross and the coffee sucks. And some people are like, oh, Dunkin'. The American runs on Dunkin', right? So... I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's fine. I mean, unless you want one of those fancy $5 donuts, you know, that has like a Mars bar sticking out of it. Um, I mean, they're fine, right? Dan Turley. How is using a PC mouse with a mirror screen? Is it natural? I have a Books Max 2, but I can't do mouse. A2 or X mode don't cut it. Well, if you hooked your computer up to the Max, then you could do mouse. Because all the Max is doing is accepting a video feed the mouse you're using doesn't talk to the max it talks to the thing that goes into the max so i'm not using the mouse on the mirror i'm not using my keyboard on the mirror i'm using it on my computer 
that has a cable going into the mirror. So anything prospectively should work on the mirror which is weird because we tried plugging in different things like a blu-ray player and like a nintendo switch and it doesn't show up there's no video going into it um and it's not just pcs because macs work and some cell phones work it just must be super particular of what kind of video feed it accepts because it just didn't work adrian says hi mike k yes i remember uh back in the days when we were a basement operation many moons ago before we had fancy schmancy stuff we were um yeah we were doing just old school videos mike and i we we were like filming on a, a glass table with a tablecloth <laughs> i was just like the camera was like and then mike would go in front and i'd have to like go in the, it was so bad i don't know how we thought that was any good that was funny yeah uh tam cw plug poke 3 special edition all right guys here we are we're here for the the poke 3 special edition just came out it's an all new white color i don't know i mean it's nothing to plug but yeah tam is correct there is a brand new onyx that came out and it is a poke 3 but featuring the nova air kind of color theme to it so it's got more of the white and kind of off-white stone gray colors, but in a Poke 3. And it's a special edition. It is precisely what Pocketbook did. They made the Touch HD 3, and then they made the Touch HD 3 special edition. You get an extended warranty and a case and stuff like that. It's just the same thing. And it is the same thing. Unless I'm missing something and it comes and then I open it, and then there's going to be like all these like rainbows and unicorns popping out of the box. I'm like, whoa, radical. And then that that could really set it aside but it does look like it's just a poke three krishna Ch 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 chityana sataru said hello hello there thank you for chiming in we're a couple minutes away from the end um you guys have been very very awesome and i hope we've answered your questions and i hope we adequately showed this unit and sold you on it not sold you on it that you have to buy it it's just like sold you on it that e-readers don't just have sorry e-paper devices don't just have to be e-readers they don't they don't have to be e-readers and the past seven years has most certainly shown us that i mean rico just uh, guys that make printers and stacks of reams of paper have made a 43 inch monitor an e-ink whiteboard monitor i mean it's just mental what e-paper is being used for now so um oh we have a question i was thinking to buy a poke air or poke four instead of a new color I think you mean Note Air and Poke 3 Special Edition because they don't use the 4. It is said, and I, I'm born and raised in Van, I know, they don't like 4s in, in Chinese because when you say 4, it's the character, even in Japanese, it's the character for death, which is she. It's really bad. Or I don't know how you say it in Chinese, but that's how you say it in Japanese. So when, you, when, you're, in, uh, when you're in Van... There's actually, they skip floors. Like, entire floors of buildings don't have, like, 4 or 14. Like legitimately. Because no one's going to buy it. And a lot of the people that live in Van are people of Chinese ancestry and descent. It's true. Like, a third of Canada, like, 29% or something is Chinese. So, like, can't have fours kicking around everywhere because it's going to freak people out. And it's true. So, but it is more politically out there that the four was reserved for the note airline so they went note note which is one note two note three and the airline with the air and the air two was the four and then they skipped and they went to the five for the note but whatever you guys want to say it i mean superstitions there's, there's no proof of superstition i open up a black umbrella and wave it around my head inside and ain't gonna ha nothing's gonna happen unless i kind of make myself believe that it's going to happen then it could i mean uh, who am i to talk i still see a black cat head to toe black cat cross my path and i'm like i don't have to cross that way i can easily just go this way but could i cross that way sure but it's like walking under a ladder you, you don't walk under ladders because of safety a hammer could fall down but even if there's no one up there and you're like ladder here you're just like i'm gonna I'm going to go around. I'm going to go around. So, yeah, that's the deal with superstitions. Tam C, not to mention that BMW. Hold on. i got to read your previous comment. I don't know what you're talking about. Hold on. Pokes 3 Special Edition. BMW. Was there a BMW on the box or something? Chris W. Sounds like death. Yes, because that's the same word. Yeah. 
uh Krishna Sataru. No, I was saying expecting a poke four. Oh, 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 pff, sorry. You're right. Uh, my 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 apologies, Krishna. I read that wrong. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh the poke, uh, sorry, the uh color is a whole nother day of discussion. We're we're out of time here today, but color was Co color color was like everyone was doing color. I reader iFlyTech, Hisense has four color devices. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Onyx, uh, Big Me. Big Me has the only large screen color to date. Uh, Sony showed their color panel that Big Me picked up. I mean, color was full force ahead. And now everyone's like, man, eh, eh, we need color. Onyx is releasing a whole bunch of stuff that's not color. Boy, use back in action with no color. You know, color was something that everyone is focusing on like super focusing on but right now it's taken a little bit of a backseat in fact the pocketbook color is now discontinued the nova 3 color is heavily delayed the iReader c6 is sounding like it's going to go out of print as well too the iFlyTech color c1 hasn't seen the light of day since it poked his head out really early on in 2020 color is not on people's priority lists right now it just really isn't we have, we got like 17 samples that came in in the past week. That is not an exaggeration. We got Skog and stuff. We have um, uh, that thing I told you about, the small e-reader. That was cool. Uh, we got some Xiaomi stuff. Uh, we have some pocketbook stuff coming. We have Onyx stuff. We got a lot of stuff. And none of it is even color. All these manufacturers are not talking about color. So, uh, yeah, uh, my mom's correct too. 13th floor in North America because like, oh, Friday the 13th is really unlucky. And it's like... Well, it's not like you're going to die just being on the 13th floor. The The floor doesn't know that where it occupies space-time is is just inherently unlucky. It's just we make it that way, but yeah. Tam CW, E-Ink BMW. Is that a is that a thing? Is there like a some sort of E-Ink application in, in a BMW car? That would be insane. Oh, there you go. Krishna said BMW has a car, CES, with an E-Ink body. Dear God. Oh, the one that changed colors. Oh, I saw that. Well, if we want to get a sample of that, you guys are free to send us one BMW, but they ain't watching. Thank you all so much. Always have fun talking to you guys. Always have fun talk, t answering your your questions. Everyone that stops by is very much appreciated. We always appreciate Michael just flipping out those coins all over the, the company account, back into the company account. It's very nice. Uh, you guys are, yes, Mike, you're right. We wrote on it. That's where I saw it. It said like BMW changes color, but then I swiped past. Not because I don't like cars, but I very much like cars. I'm just not a huge BMW fan. So yeah, Courtney Bowman says they love your mom. Ha, <laughs> yeah, she's cool. She's very, very, very supportive of all this. And um, yeah, always stops by at the, uh, unless there's Star Trek on, then she's nowhere to be seen, but that's fine. Uh, thank you all so much. This is very nice. Um, we will be putting up a poll so you guys can vote on what you want to watch next week. If you guys want to watch anything at all, you don't have to. If you guys want to voice your concerns and say stop this live, we will obviously stop because everything we do is for you all, wonderful ladies and gentlemen. And that's the whole reason we do these. We know you can't walk. I say this every time, but it's true. We know you can't walk into a Best Buy and say, oh, look, the Hisense Touch. This is awesome. Look, there's seven copies in stock. I'm going to grab one and buy it. You can't do that. It's impossible. There's no Hisense Touch on a little security tag in almost anywhere in the world if there is i'm i'm completely wrong but none of these devices we see are you able to look at a skog and e ink watch no nowhere will you will be able to do that do you want to see one on live maybe we'll put it on a on the poll so you can see that that's why we do these lives to show you guys an unedited and raw look at how good or bad these units might be if you guys want to vote on something, hit them up. We usually get two to 600 votes per uh, poll. So that gives you a good indication that we really do leave it in guys in your guys' hands. Obviously, we choose the four things that will go up there because it needs to be something that we physically have. If you guys are like, oh, g give me the, uh, the, the texture beagle from 2011. It's like, well, we don't have that. So <laughs> we can't leave it up to you to decide what there is. It's just decide amongst the ones we do have. Thank you all so much. My voice is <coughs> completely gone. I'm talking for four hours. You guys are awesome. Thank you all. Have a good day. The usuals. Courtney Bowman, Krishna, Kevin Bossy, Dan, Steven, Hackademicus. Oh, you guys are all here. This is great. Uvo, my mom for stopping by. Mike, Chris, Quiz, Quiz DRZ. Can't can't read your name. Sorry, it's very nice though. <clears throat> Tom Doe, Galbo Tran, Tam, 
Asterisk Pant, you guys are fantastic. Thank you very much for um, showing up and appreciate each and every one of you till next week. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got to wait. I was about to end it. Oh, sweet. Hackademicus, I've made a review, but is in Portuguese. Huh. Hackademicus, where can I contact you? Am I able to contact you? There's three dots next to your name and it does nothing. Hackademicus, please check the comments after this. We're going to put our uh, email in the comments for you to see. So after this is done, go back to the VOD and I'm personally going to put um, my email there for you. I want to uh, speak to you a little bit. And I can't do that right now. I could, but everyone's watching. Don't look. Thank you very much. You guys are great.